murder, people sing in the car. Poorly. 300 cities where people miss someone in one of our other 299 cities. We don't fly to 300 cities merely to bring us to... Can we do this sooner? Question mark. What is your availability today? Question mark. Ever. But to show us, we're not that far apart. Delta. Keep climbing. From the New York Times, I'm Michael Bavaro. This is The Daily. Look out, Chloe's coming. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Corbin Coleman. A federal judge in New York will hold the first hearing in Jeffrey Epstein's criminal case since the financier killed himself earlier this month. NPR's Ryan Lucas has more. Judge Richard Berman scheduled the hearing to discuss the government's request to dismiss the indictment against Epstein in light of his recent suicide. Berman says doing so could help provide clarity for the public on the end of the case against Epstein. The financier faced charges of conspiracy and sex trafficking of minors. He pleaded not guilty and was fighting the charges before he killed himself in his cell in a federal jail in New York. Judge Berman says prosecutors and Epstein's defense team will be able to speak at Tuesday's hearing. She was in the courtroom yesterday when that decision came down. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning. So why did the judge rule against Johnson and Johnson? What did he say? Well, the judge blamed Johnson and Johnson for misleading marketing and promotion of opioids and said that those actions compromised the health and safety of thousands of Oklahoma. And that's what this case was about. It was about public nuisance. Um, as you heard earlier, he mentioned things like the number of opioid deaths in Oklahoma as evidence of Johnson & Johnson's impact. And to combat those sort of issues, the judge awarded the states more than half a billion dollars. $552 million is certainly a lot of money, but it is way less than the $17 billion the state of Oklahoma wanted. How did the attorney general, who was prosecuting the case, react to that award? Well, the judge said in his decision that the state uh, had only proved a year of the cost of fighting the epidemic, which is why he awarded, uh, like you said, a little over $517 million. And the state had been asking for 30 years worth of the